But we mentioned if that person, that traveler, that Musafir, if he were to perform four like that instead of two like that, will his salah be valid? And we mentioned then, yes, his salah will be valid, except he will have to do such a at the end. Why? Because if four like that, he performs, the two would be found, and the, and the other two, the second two would be nafil. And his form is the first two like that, after, this, after that first sitting. So we have what? After that first sitting, the last wajib after the person has a salah, right? Is to give salah. And what came between the two salah is two extra like that. So because of delay that wajib act, that person he will do such a sum at the end. And then we mention when at what point in time will the laws of what? Safar apply? Will the laws of Safar apply when the person reaches his destination? No. The laws of Safar will apply, the laws of traveling will apply the concession. And the Sahara is given what concession? Concession here, four like that into two like that. A person is given what? The allowance to delay the fast of Ramadan. Yes, even though he's traveling, maybe for what? It may not be important. Right? It may not be, it, it, it may be travel for what? For, for leisure, for, for relaxation, right? Once he's a Musafir, he's given that leniency, he's given that option. So he's allowed to delay the fast in the month of Ramadan. Qurbani does not become much about that person in these three days if he's a Musafir. So that the Jumu'ah does not become obligatory upon that person if he's a Musafir. So this is the concession given. So when the laws of Safar, the laws of traveling, when will, at what point in time will, that, will it apply? Right? It will not apply when we reach our destination, no. It will apply when a person leaves the boundary of his hometown. Right? He leaves the boundary of his hometown, and it was mentioned the last class, which is what? Get up and see with the boundary of what? Barako, Pina, Devi, San Fernando. Right? When that person he leaves the boundary of his hometown, he becomes a Musafir. Right? For example, if a person were to go from here now to Marbella, from here to San Fernando, he could perform four like that. Right? But if he's what a Musafir, right, his, he, his intent is what to go to a place where it is 17 kilometers or more, and he sets out, and he happens to pass through Marbella or pass through what, Barna, San Fernando, right? He will offer two like that. Right? Because the laws of Qasa, the laws of what? Safa, traveling will apply when a person he leaves the boundary of his hometown. Right? When he leaves the boundary of his hometown and not necessarily when that person reaches the door. So what happens now when that person reaches his destination? When he reaches his destination, what he will do? Will he continue doing Qasa? Qasa is not short in his salah. Will that person continue short in his salah? as he did on his way to his destination or upon reaching his destination he would complete his salah for like that and he would normally do if he were to be a, a resident of a team. So here now that person upon reaching his destination if he makes intention to stay for 15 days or more, one five, if his intention is to stay at that particular place for 15 days or more then he would be called what you call a temporary resident a temporary resident, a temporary mukti, and the laws of Yakama, the laws of a resident, will apply. He will perform four akha, right? He will perform four akha, and fasting will be obligatory upon him, Jumu'ah, Kobani, all of these things will be obligatory upon that person. If he makes intention to stay for 15 days or more. If his intent is to stay for less than 15 days, then he will continue doing qasa. Meaning what? The laws of Safar and traveling will continue to apply to that person. Right? Will continue to apply to that person. Understand that what is important is that person's intent. Right? Many a times that person may intend to stay as a certain amount of days, but due to the situation that might increase or decrease. Right? So, for example, a person's intention is to stay for just 10 days, less than 15. Right? His intention is to stay for just that 10 days. Minimum. For example, he went. He went to do some work, right? Or some business or some whatever whatever he need, um, need he went for. But he thought it would have completed in ten days. 
but it didn't happen. So once he extended the next one, 10 days. After 8 days, he's thinking, oh, listen, after 8 days, 2 days, uh, you know, 2 days can't, can't complete this book, I cannot, you know, what I came for, I, it cannot be accomplished with this limited time. So he extends a further 10 days, right? So now he would end up staying for 20 days, but in this entire 20 days, he would still do Qasa. Why? Because there was no point in time his intention was 15 days or more. When it was day 8, right, he intended what? You know what? He would stay 10 days longer from the previous 10 days. So that would be 10 plus the school that remained. It would just be what? His intent was to stay 15, uh, he had 12 days longer. So at no point in time, his intention was to stay 15 days or more. So he would continue with Qasa. And if this happens and months pass, right? Months could pass and that person what? He could still be with Qasa, right? As you give the example, for example, somebody what? Somebody, uh, like a foreigner comes, right? And he just, you know, he comes and he just waited for his documents to process to go, right? And in Trinidad, mashallah, our immigration in Trinidad, come back next week. Come back after three days. Right? So his intent is just to stay for that next week, stay for that three days, just to get his documents to go. And every time, three days, every time, one week. And his intent is just what, to stay for that one week to collect his documents, and he had stayed about six months. Within that time, he would think to pass up the line. No point in time he intended to stay one, well, more than any 15 days or more, right? But had that person got intended, you know what, how things going over here, I make intention to stay for the month. Right, I intend to stay for the month. Right, so if his intention is to stay for 15 days or more, then that person then he will be a temporary resident and the laws of Safar will not apply to him. He will do what? For a as normal, right? He will fast in the month of Ramadan as normal. Right? Then we spoke about the concession for Ramadan, as I mentioned, yes, so long as a person is that a Musafir, a traveler by definition of Sharia, he's given that concession. It doesn't have to be what? A religious travel. It doesn't have to be a business any trip. Right? It can be just for what? A vacation, relaxation, leisure. Right? We don't see that we should do it or not, right? Not a problem is a precious time. But if a person chooses to do that, is he still given the concession? According to Imam al-Shafi'i, there is a difference of opinion about he is Masada with Imam, in the, the Hanafi Madhab and the Shafi'i Madhab. Right? According to the Hanafi Madhab, whatever is the intent of that person, so long he's a traveler, he's given that concession. So long he's a traveler, he's given that concession. So, according to what Imam al-Hanifa, even to that person, he is set him up on a journey to go and rob somebody, right? To go and steal. That is a maxi, a sin, right? He is still given that concession. Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned, no, he cannot be given that concession because that concession is a ni'mah, right? How can that person be given that ni'mah of, of what? Qasa, the show of the salah, when his intent is ma'asiyah, when his intent is to displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So this was just given up by him, but according to the Hanafi Mazhab, once a person is a traveler, right? Sometimes we have pious teeth, I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, the point here is that once a person is a traveler, whatever his intent, business, relaxation, right, umrah, whatever, whatever, to visit somebody, whatever is his intent, right, that is not really important. Right? Once he's a musafir, he will be given that concession. Alright? And we'll see what the one we saw over here and you don't have any questions. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna ask him one. So we, we, the distance we check in um, 78 kilometers, right? Uh, 14, right? 48 miles. 48 miles, right? So, how are we doing the measurement? For instance, if we're going to, let me say, to Togo, right? We route this to, to go down Barco, so head down the highway, down so, and then we're taking a right on the end of the highway, and we're going that way, right? So, we count the kilometers we're driving to reach here, but we have to check our street line. Alright, I'm sorry, I spoke to you, right? No. So listen, you're not checking out a straight line. You know when you're going in, 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 
you do your geography classes, you have your you you check the board, you have your you have a string here, you put it on your map, right? So you're not checking a straight line like this and then put it on your scale. No. You're checking what? The natural this route that person will take. Alright? So it's not a straight line you're gonna take, you know what? A person from here to there, right? Not a person may not if the place located there, not necessarily that person will have to, you know, that straight line will have to if this is it the road, this is it how if he has to pass here, or he has to pass there, this is the way to that place, that, that is the distance you're gonna check. So if I want to be smart now, for instance I go in market and to reach market from here is let me say seventy-five kilometers. So I decide, you know, I can make up that extra three or four kilometers. Uh, I'll take a little exit and, uh, 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 like, for instance, instead of going to a go to DV and a and go a pass up in also, and then I make the road to go up. So. And that's the idea that's what I'm saying. Right. Listen. According to what the Fontana, according to the jurist, right? If there are two routes or multiple routes to a destination, a place, right? And one route, it would, a person to take one particular route, then he would not cover the distance, right? He would not cover the distance in the Masafa Sharia, that, that 78 kilometers, 48 miles. But if you were to take another route, right? Another route, okay, this is a longer route. And then taking that longer route, now he would cover the distance, right? So here the Fuqah had mentioned, if he were to take the longer route, then he would be a Musafir, right? So two people living, living from the same place, right? Yeah. Living from the same place, they go to the same destination, taking different routes, right? When they reach there now, it depends on, okay, if one route does add up to what? The distance, and the other route add up to the distance or more, then that, or that route or the longer distance, right, would be a Musafir. And we had a little, a little discussion last, the last class, right? We're speaking about roads. You know, like when you put on your, you want to go to a destination, so you put on your, what, your map over here and give you an estimated kilometer distance, right? And they might, they might show different roads, right? This is what we're speaking about. We're not speaking about a person about zigzagging to, you know, to make up the, the distance, right? For example, if a person about, say from here to, here to uh, San Fernando, right? Or from here to Shakwana, nobody is not a Musafir, right? Because if you for the distance from here to Shakwana, if you take one, multiple routes, right? You will, it will be what, 70, 78 kilometers. In fact, it was six, seven, from here, you will pin out there, where five, seven, and all about, and continue to reach what? Shakwana, and he covers for the 78 kilometers, that was the one of the Musafir. Right, so even though he covers that distance, right, he will not be what a Musafir, right? And that's all he was mentioned for the last class, okay, a person has to go a river, right? From here to Arima is not the distance, they go all what for the Spain, they go back to the and then come down to the ritual. Arima, right? Then from what? That person will not be a Musafir, because that is not what? A route, right? To Arima, right? Yes, it's going up, it's going uh what do you call it? Toko, right? In going to Oko, you can take what? The highway, or you can take what? That, 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 yeah, that by our road, you can put there. So these are roads you can take, right? But uh, if a person from here to Shakwana, or here to Sanfana, he zigzag like that just to make up the arm, right? See what? Listen, he has some friends in San Fernando, right? Or Shakwana. So he wants, he wants that to to be simple and halal and conventional. So he wants to be able to do what? Holiday time, right? You know what? Fast and this and that and whatever, right? So that was a zigzag, zigzag until what? Make up 17 kilometers and reach the right? So 17 kilometers would not qualify that person to be a Musafir, right? Now that's what is Safa? A person okay, it's just not as cool like that, right? That person gave a concession to what? And fasting, he does not know what he could do, he passed up on the other day, so that was not a Jumak or a Musafir. Right, like a poor man, Musaf, this and that. So this is a concession, this is a concession given to what it, a genuine case, right? A genuine case. So even though what? They are what two routes to what? 
a place, two roads to that place, two pathways. Yes, that same person deliberately taking a longer one to be a Musafia. He would that would apply because there's a, that is a road to that place. He not zigzag and just to pick up the arm. Alright, that's not like uncle was mentioned in the last class, right? Okay, from from here, from you from where you are, the boundary of your hometown to what the boundary of your destination is not 78 kilometers, right? But in midway now, you want to get some gas, right? So that gas now, to get that, the power gas station, you have to what, drive about 20 or 50, 20 kilometers to get the gas station, and the next 20 kilometers to come back on the road, right? So if you're going to check that, that 40 kilometers, no, you're going to check that, right? Because from your place to the destination, that is not a road, right? That's not a road. You <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yes. no, can do that. The people are not, I don't know it, but if we get a, a good kid, man, right? The boundaries are what? Well. Each what city, each town, right? That's important, right? But no matter what, how you measure the distance? When you say from Parkour to what? At least the boundary of Parkour. The way you exit it, now it Parkour is like this. Let's say, right? And the place here, and you leave it from here. Yes, you might get only distance. But if you leave it from this part of Parkour from there to there, you will not get any distance. So right? we are checking it from home. We check from the boundary. The boundary, right? So this is your boundary. This is your yeah, boundary. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. all of this is the boundary, right? All of this here is because it depends on where you exited. Probably, let me say we in Cedras, right? Uh -huh. So, I in Jama, so my, I in Jama today, I can't check my boundary from Bangkok, or I'll check that boundary from Cedras. So, if I go from. No, 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 I don't repeat that. Right, so, for instance, if I in, in Jama, right, and I in, okay. in Cedras, not shit, uh -huh. and I, we have to leave from Cedras now to go to Toko, uh -huh. right? Um, which boundary I you check in? Is it the I use the Cedras yeah. boundary, right? I'm not checking my boundary from no. Bangkok, yeah. Right. Right. And if you leave Cedras and Sand, and Cedras is a Musafir, right? Yeah. A traveler. So now the laws of travel will apply to you. Say you go to Cedras and you intend to stay what? 15 days. So in 50, that, with that intention, now you can perform for a time, right? So now you leave in Cedras, right? Say what? So Cedras is like a temporary resident, right? Like a resident, right? So you're in Cedras, you leave in Cedras. Right. So now you would leave if if from Cedras you intend to go a place at a 78 kilometers or more, right? Then upon leaving the boundary of Cedras, the laws of Sakul apply to you. But if you leave in Cedras to go to a place less than 78 kilometers, right? Wherever you go, you can still do it for Hakka, right? Because the Cedras is like a temporary resident for you. And that will only what be cancelled with our traveling. If you travel any 78 kilometers or more. Right, only then I would cancel off. 
as long as some serious is not point forty, right? And it's still before that, that, right? Because some serious are point forty is not seventy kilometers, and you can have temporary base in in a uh, in serious. Those most accurate should be done in Mandas. Those girls will only come from Mandas. But I pass it on to you. Important. Like the four hundred miles from Mandas is not the one that can be found there. Mandas is not right. Like what? Like if you send a Jamaat to what? The Barco area, right? They what? Remember this is one area. So if they come in what? In this area, even though they're going to multiple masjid, ten, number ten masjid they go to work, right? But they intend to stay in Barco for fifty days or more. So any masjid they go, they do what? They do four akat, right? It's not okay. We stay three days in this masjid and five days here, so we're not making up the fifteen in that particular masjid. No, we look at we look at that particular masjid, we look at that particular city or town, right? So they come and they stay what? 40 days in the Barco area, right? Then they will, they are not Musafir, right? They perform four at that, they can go into any masjid in the area, right? Any masjid in the area. And even though they leave Barco, they can go what? Road, Understand? Or they go to go on the road, right? To go to the Malkas, they to go to Parabala, right? From Barco to these places, it's not 17 kilometers, so they remain what? Uh, residents. Right? They remain residents so unless they intend to go to my journey in the bush there. Right? Toko side. Okay, then they will not know about it. When they leave here, they will not be they will be Musafir, they will not be residents. We have a Halka, right? This is a Badi Halka, Mori Halka. We don't have Halka is what you make, right? Alright? So this is what they make up this, otherwise they go to the, the original placement of the country, the government, right. you know, how they how they divide land the land, right? But sometimes we say that we put we put a double behind that, or we can say we put this one we just put it in a next year or whatever is happening. So they have the that one have that okay. is what the, the city the cities are the top, the boundaries are the cities are the top. As for the Sunnah Nafa, there is no shortening, right? Two Rata, or the four Rata before the Rata, that remains four Rata, right? But here, if that person was understanding, if that person is given concession in the front Salah, right? Then, the Nafa Salah, the Sunnah Salah, that is what? That is what would be more worthy of concession in the sense that that person would not leave it out. He will not be sinful, right? Because he is on a journey, he has what? He has the parts, he has things to do, he has, he has to go, right? So that person is busy. So if you want to leave one what is sunna, then that person will be sinful, right? But nowadays our travel is very easy. So that person what? It is better than that person any perform any his sunna. But if you want to leave it all because of journey, then that person will not be sinful, right? That person will not be sinful. But one one thing that we don't leave out, we shouldn't leave out. Is it two that sunnah before Salat al Fajr? Right? This is if not a sunnah, this is one of the most emphasized, or is it the most emphasized sunnah the Prophet Sunnah Sunnah in the Yam, Nafil Salah. Because when we say what? From Nafil Sunnah, Nafil is one category. So this is what? One of the most in the Muakka that emphasize sunnah the Prophet Right? So what's so that word? The Hanafi Matthab, if what? The Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Uqimat Salah, the Salah if that salah is established, right? if the salah is established in congregation, then what? You cannot what, start any salah except the journey salah of the congregation, right? The salah of the congregation has already started, then you cannot what? Come and start any other salah, you have to join that congregation. There's a concession given here with the two, with the two rakah, sunnah before fajr, right? Two rakah, sunnah before fajr, meaning what this salah is, salah of fajr is going on. And until the person has to perform his two like of sunnah, right, before Fajr, he is given Allah on Sahariya to perform that and then join the congregation. 
that uh, that concession Allah was only given for that Turaqah Sunnah of the Fajr Salah. But that was something that it should be happy to you. You know that a person what he did whatever reason he was able to perform because of time, right? And the better place to perform that is a far away from the congregation, right? Don't make it too close to the congregation. Why? Because the Prophet he didn't make the exception. He mentioned once this salah is established, there's no salah, right? A person should engage himself and accept that salah. The salah jama, right? But because of we see the the, 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 the jersey or the emphasis of this one, this Turaqa Sunnah, they mentioned what? Because it is so emphasized that a person should what? Hurry up, perform it, and then join the congregation. Right? But it's not a, a, you know, a, a general thing that, okay, we wait and come in the masjid, even salah is going on, perform our, our two sunnah and then join. No, that's not we should what? Perform that at home, or perform that before the congregation. But if, by chance, okay, it happens now and then, right? It should not be what? Close to the, the, the main java, the main congregation. Until he enters the boundary of his hometown. Right? 
this next person or the second person who intended to stay 50 days or more, he's a temporary resident, right? He's a temporary resident and he will perform for attack. Now he's returning home, right? He is returning home now, so on his way now he would what? He would perform for. Why? Because for what? The place where he is and, what? and he's what? Leave. It's not what? 78 kilometers. Right, so he would continue performing what? Like from what? Cedrus now, you go to Cedrus, you go to, 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 to Mayaro, right? Cedrus to Mayaro, so in Cedrus you would pass up, from Cedrus to Mayaro, to Mayaro, you would continue what? You would pass up, right? If from Cedrus now you would, you would you intended to stay 50 days or more, they would perform a forata, then on the way to Mayaro, you would perform any forata. So this person here now, who intended to stay 50 days or more, and he was doing what four at the time and place of his destination on his return home also he would do what any four at Alright? Four at As the first person, he has to continue doing what? Two at Alright? But the moment he crosses, crosses the boundary of his home top, you don't need to have intention, right? When you cross the boundary of your home top. The moment you cross the boundary of your home top, automatically you are a resident. Right? And you will do it man. You will do, you will complete the solar. We had one, one, uh, one rule that we didn't mention <coughs> in regards to wiping, wiping the socks, right? A mutin is always given what? A duration of what? 24 hours. What is it? 24 hours in the young one day and night. 24 hours to, to wipe. As, a, as for Musaf, the traveler is given any? 72 hours. 3 days. 3 days, 3 nights. 72 hours. So now the question is at what point in time exactly did what? The rules of what? Why could the socks on the inner area? Right? So don't go into that. Right? But at what point in time would his what? Wiping start? Uh, this is a revision now. His wiping will start when the moment what he wears the socks? Or when exactly would that what 24 hours start? When you close the border. Uh, the yes, he, he's a little more sad because he crossed the border. But when was that time? When did he start checking that time? On the first salad. On the first salad. On the first salad. Huh? After he made Udo. He put on his hot cell. We make it simple, uh, right? Yeah. He, he, uh, he made the first Udo after. You know what? That, that you have to check that at the time of the, the moment what? The first that one will just nullify it. Yeah. For example, what he wants at 6 o'clock in the morning, right? 6 o'clock in the morning, he's a, he's a resident then. 6 o'clock in the morning, he wants socks. At 9 o'clock, he will do what? Nullify it, will broken, right? So you're 24 hours started, you check your 24 hours at 9 o'clock, right? So 9 o'clock the next day now, you must finish, right? You have to remove that socks, right? Is it more socks? What should that to the back, right? You need to remove the data continuity, the master. It was sad the moment. You will do is modify, right? After a while. Now, for Musafir, the same thing, except he's given extended time, 72 hours. But the time when you're going to check the 72 hours, there's only time you wear the socks upon the hard and cleanliness and purification. No. You wear the socks, but the moment what? That model is broken, becomes broken, nullified, invalidated. At that time, you will check. So it was 6, six o'clock, and that model one became what? Nullified at 9 o'clock. So you're going to check what? 9 o'clock. Alright? So Monday, so a person would ask, a Musaf, a traveler, if it was 6 o'clock, we would go 9 o'clock, Monday morning. When, when is time finishing? We don't treat it when I get one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. I would have traveled. 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 A person who's a mokim, understand? As you mentioned, you, you only become a mokim when you leave the boundary, right? You just stay home, while in your house, you have to travel, right? And you intend to travel also, but a person's mere intention of traveling does not, does not afford him 
the laws of supper, the laws of traveling. You understand? So if a person is at his house, right, sitting over and he's ready right, to travel, what, next, uh, next hour, right, just like that, he's going to step out on that journey. So his intention doesn't really make him, what, a traveler, right? And even though he leaves his house and, and goes, that doesn't make him a traveler. Only when, what, he leaves the boundary of his hometown, okay, only then the laws of traveling will apply to that person, right? As opposed to what? Uh, the common residence, yes, mere intention will make that person any a resident. Alright. So this person now that person he is a, a resident. So he wore his socks six o'clock in the morning. Monday morning. Six o'clock Monday morning. And then at nine o'clock, right? At nine o'clock the woman broke. At three o'clock he became a Musafir. So when we check checking the seven, it was a little bit, okay, what is it just, what is this accountant, that, that is just a what, that, that complicated things, the body six o'clock, if you if, if, yeah, agree that, okay, we check in, when we first break move, then the body six o'clock will be wet, right? The wudu broke, why he wait 6 o'clock? Let me check it in. The wudu broke 9 o'clock, right? The wudu broke 9 o'clock, but he became a Musafir 3 o'clock in the evening. 3 p.m. Monday, 3 p.m., right? That person, you understand, a Mutim is allowed 24 hours. A Musafir is allowed 72 hours. But this person here, you know, he was a Mutim. Right? And started to wipe his wife and started at 9 o'clock. But he became a traveler at 3 o'clock in the evening. Right? When will his 72 hours finish? You see, don't guess. Right? Did I use this or use this? Right? Did I use this? Your 9 o'clock? Or you use your 3 o'clock? Right. I can use it 3 o'clock because I can go back and take on my socks and make food. <laughs> so we are trying to get the We are talking about the allowance giver. I think right. from the 3 o'clock. The allowance giver. Right. That, and I said that person, he would be a Musaf from 3 o'clock. Right. He would be a Musaf from 3 o'clock. But we are not going to add 72 hours from 3 o'clock. Right. Why? Because if they add 72 hours from 3 o'clock, you are going to get what? 72 hours plus 6. He will be given what? 72 hours plus 6, you can give about 78 hours in all wiping. The most amount given to that person is what? 72. Right? So his 17. His 3 days, right? Yes. His 3 days, his wiping will be what? Will start from? 9 o'clock. Right? His wiping will start from 9 o'clock. Right? Let me do the opposite now. Right? A person is a traveler. Right? A traveler is allowed. 72 hours, right? So he's a traveler and he started to wipe at when his wife started at 9 o'clock, you know, the woman broke 9 o'clock, right? And that's one day. And he reached home, that person reached home that same day, 6 o'clock in the evening, right? 6 o'clock in the evening. Now he had to perform, he has to perform salah. Is he allowed to wipe? And that sucks. Huh? He was a Musafir. By the time he was a Musafir, right? In the morning. Now in the evening time, he reached home 6 o'clock. Hit the bomb, he's on his home. Now no, it's 6 o'clock, half past 6. Right? Time to start the bomb with Right? That person allowed to make what? Who do I wipe my socks? Yeah. No, no. We are saying, yes, why? No, why? Yes, because 24. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Well, let me have the time, explain. No, from, if you look at the time, from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock, how much was that? No, it's still on one day. I only tell. From 9 to 6. So you have a whole day, yeah. Right? So what I mean, what? He said, if it was a silly, they have more peeps up. He said, have time. Right? Just say, no, listen. So he can still wipe, yeah. right? But when he will stop wiping? After the 24 hours. Yeah, what, what time? Six Do you have time? Six, nine, well, 6 o'clock. What time do you wait? 6, 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock, Monday morning. 9 
Dr. Zul Zemo Nice, let's finish up here Apa sir tuan? Wipe it, right? Apa sir tuan? Wipe it Amu Safir, right? So he wipe He wore that socks 6 o'clock, Mudu Bok 9 o'clock Alright? Monday 9 o'clock Tuesday Wednesday, now it's Wednesday My man here is here, you come to Thursday, right? Thursday 9 o'clock Wednesday now Wednesday 6 o'clock in the evening, he reached home He became a Mokim He becomes a Mokim and resident, right? Now he's going to what? Perform Salat and Mokim Where is he going to be there? He can't wait Huh? He can't wait Why? Because he's not a traveler anymore Right, but now he He's a he's a resident and the, the maximum allowed for a resident is how much? 24, 24 hours you're ready to buy for 48 hours. Yeah. So you have to remove that socks. Right? If he didn't return home as yet and he was still a Musafir, a traveler, then yes, the extend until the 72 hours. Right? The extend until the 72 hours. Right? That's 72 hours is the big people who subscribe to. Yes, after the initial time. No, the moment they take out, they, they, listen, the moment they take out that socks and they put on back, you get the next 24 hours. For example, listen, you put on the socks 6 o'clock in the morning, you move to break uh, 9 o'clock, right? 9 o'clock, Monday morning, this is when the 24 hours start. So you come from 9 o'clock, Monday morning, you have until what, 9 o'clock, Tuesday. But if you now, 3 o'clock in the evening, you take all that socks and you make Udu when you put on back that socks or whatever, right? Your time is going to start from when? See when you break time? When they break, that Udu breaks, so they keep, on, they keep that Udu till 6 o'clock in the evening, right? So now, your time started now from 6 o'clock in the evening Monday, so you have until 6 o'clock in the evening until sure. Tuesday, your 24 hours, right? So the longest what we start with the Udu socks, we know what, what? The longest duration of wiping while wearing that socks, without removing the socks. Right? And now we mentioned. Yeah, let's go now. Last few minutes are here, right? That clock wrong. You want it back here, you know? Yeah, no, that's too many. That's too many. Alright? This is one. And then I give it ready to go through the paper, but at least the question is coming in. Next class, we will do something else, inshallah. Right? We mentioned a person, in, he's a Musafir, right? He's a Musafir, and for whatever reason, he misses Salat al Duha, right? He misses Salat al Duha. He has what? Do Qadha. Now, how much if he has no Qadha for a time he will do? How much for a time he will perform? If he's still a Musafir? Okay, say he's still a Musafir. I do too. He comes home now, he returns home, and you know what? And now he decides to what? While being a resident, he decides to uh, do Qadha for that, that uh, the Tohal he, he missed when he was a, a traveler. Right? How much you'll perform? Huh? I feel it too. Huh? Because they're not traveling, I'm not traveling. Okay, but this last class, right? Simple, listen. So, okay, let me spin it around now. A person, right, while being a resident and a traveler, he missed Salat al Dhuha. Right? If he has a good power for him, he will do it. Oh, for a time. Now, that person sets out on a journey, right? And now, in this journey, he's a Musafir, then. He knows that Safar is a final to that person. He's a, a traveler. Now he decides, you know what, that, I want to do that Qamala of that Zohra was that day, right? How much time he will do? He's a traveler right now. Huh? Now he has to look for, because he's not in Karena and Salah that he missed. Right? You see the, right? And it's a fit fit based on the law principles that they did, Qawaii, right? Rules, so I have principles, right? Simple, right? Look and see when that salah was obligatory upon him, right? How much was obligatory upon him, right? If he is what? Whether that person be a Mokim or a Musafir, when Salat al 
comes, right? How many ratas obligatory upon that person? Right? If it's an obtain four ratas obligatory upon them. If it was a person, two ratas obligatory upon them. Right? So now he wants to do cover. It doesn't matter what state he is in right now, whether he be a traveler or a resident, right? His cover will be the same as what was obligatory upon him. Right? So if that person was while he was home, he missed what? Salat al Fahab. How many other covers of the him? Four. Now he becomes a Musafir and a traveler and he wants to do cover for that. How much cover are you going to do? Four. Why? Because four is obligatory upon him then. That person is a, a traveler. He misses Salat al Fahab. How many other covers of the him? Two. Now that person becomes a resident. He wants to do cover for that Salat al Fahab. How much cover he will do? Cover will be a stulata. Why? Because obligatory there. However, it was obligatory, the cover will be what follows to be the same. Simple. Right? So if he decides to do the cover while he's a traveler, right, it would be two. He comes home, he's a resident, he wants to cover for that miss when he was a traveler, right? It will be still be two. Right? And five six will serve the the uh the format when he was a bookie. Plus Last question, and we're going to next week at the front of the picture.